welcome to Wow of the World. And you're still joining our epic adventure through Oman, a real treasure in the Middle East. In the previous two episodes, you saw us driving into the mountains from the capital, Muscat. We were the only visitors in Oman's new water park, and we attended the world-famous goat market. Now we wander off into no man's land. But as adventurous as our trip was so far, we're now really getting into the adventure as we go off radar into the remote desert. The biggest part of Oman is just one big sea of sand dunes and we're staying here at Wahiba Sands in Sama Al Wasil Camp. This desert camp is one of the most remarkable resorts in Oman. It's so remote and so beautiful that sleeping here is one big experience. Anybody up for camel skewers? How amazing is this? An outdoor cinema in the middle of the desert. And they're playing a movie with the rock. Using this rope we can climb up to the top for an amazing view and to realize that we're far off in the middle of nowhere. Desert, desert and desert. All I see are sand dunes. I walked about 50 minutes from the hotel. There's no life in sight and I can really imagine you getting lost here with your camel. Water. Jens is also climbing the top and we see the most beautiful sunset of this journey. But Jens seems more interested in the way down. Lucky enough he's just in time to see the kids movie in the outdoor cinema. Time to move on from the driest desert to the most beautiful oasis. Or might this be a Fata Morgana? All across Oman you will find the so-called wadis. They're mostly beautiful rivers but sometimes they're just valleys because they're all dried out because of the climate. But today we're at Wadi Bani Khalid and this is one of the most beautiful ones with greenish blue waters and you can even swim in them if you'd like. How sweet is this place? And there's a small climb up to the mountains, where you can see the crystal clear water flowing from level to level in natural pools.
On the way to the next hotel we cross a sandstorm. Another thing to cross off the list. During our trip through Oman we stayed in Sama resorts twice before. First in the mountains in Sama Heights and then again in the desert in Sama Al Wasil camp. The fun thing about Sama is that they're always in the most beautiful nature spots of Oman so we love to use them for some glamping in tiny houses, tents, no phone connection, no internet and always completely in the middle of nowhere to get some peace. This time we're staying in Sama Ras Al Yins at the beach and that's our house. Yes, you can truly say that we've become big fans of the Sama concept here in Oman. We observe the surroundings in the little fisherman's town Ras Al Hat. From Ras Al Hat we drive back to Ras Al Yins and in the area we explore the phenomenal coastline. Uh, and we also want to see its main visitors because these beaches are populated by sea turtles. But for that we have to come back at night. Especially in the summer months, the turtles lay their eggs. In the low season, you might have a small chance to spot one at night. So Jens is going to bed and unfortunately Suze cannot come with me tonight. I'm going back to the turtle reserve and there is a chance that I'm gonna see some turtles at night in the dark. Maybe, maybe not. Inshallah. Wow guys, I'm so super excited. It's been an hour, I've been waiting inside the Turtle Reserve Visitor Center and they informed me that there's actually a turtle on the beach right now, but they have strict rules about it. Uh, it has to decide on the spot, uh, dig the hole and then after that, when it's all comfortable, we can go out and see it. And they know that I'm making a movie about Oman and they said they're gonna try and help me get some cool shots. So, I'm super excited about that. How amazing was that guys? This is going off my bucket list. Uh, I'm going to sleep and cherish this magic moment forever. Uh, my world trip is already so awesome right now. See you guys in the morning. Jens is driving today and we move on along the coast. Look behind me. We are already on our way back to Muscat, where our trip started in the first place. So, before we do, we stop at Wadi Shab. After a small boat ride, we walk through the mighty canyon. The hike that turns into a climb about halfway takes you to the most beautiful spot within the hour. And Jens is walking the entire way. So that's it, we got to the end of the line, no more walking and I got into the water and you can swim up upstream a little bit. Let's see what's over there.
So this is where the challenge begins. I'm going through this hole at the end of the end. Before we go back to Muscat, there's one more stop on the way. About a 20 minute drive from Wadi Shep here is Bima Sinkhole. It's pretty amazing because some rocks collapsed about hundreds of years ago and now they build a beautiful park around it and the people can swim over here. So wondrous this natural phenomenon, but actually the playground seems to be the real highlight. We stay where this round trip through Amman more or less began, in Pioneer Hotel between the mountains near Muscat, the one with the beautiful rooftop pool. And then we take the airplane to a place not too far away in the area, I guess. We had such a great adventure in Oman, but unfortunately all good things must come to an end. But not this world trip, not by a long shot. We've even switched continents and we move on to Africa. This is Cape Verde. I'll see you next time. Follow us on this epic trip around the world and I'll see you soon at Bout of the World. Just everyone should just have to choose.